Welcome to beautiful downtown Bakersfield. My name is Kathy Butler. I currently serve on the Historic Preservation Commission. I'm also affiliated with the DBA and the Downtown Bakersfield Development Corporation. We have been working to promote the beautiful history of our downtown. And we are here today to discuss this beautiful plaque project that uh, was coordinated through the Kern County Historic Society and the City Historic Preservation Commission. Several years ago, so uh, our association was able to unveil these at the Padre Hotel as well as the special 85th anniversary of the Fox Theater. We also unveiled a few of those during First Friday. So we're inviting you the next time you're downtown to enjoy these beautiful plaques and learn a little bit more about our history of our city. My name is uh, Ken Hooper. I'm the president of the Kern County Historical Society here in Bakersfield, California. I want to welcome you to the Fox Theater and introduce you to the Bakersfield Plaque Project. Uh, downtown Bakersfield has a plethora of historic buildings and several years ago we began a project where we funded by the Bakersfield Californian Foundation we did some research and we began plaquing with forged aluminum plaques uh, some of the more important buildings in downtown Bakersfield. So right here we have the Fox Theater which many people in Bakersfield are familiar with. Uh, one of the items that's not on the plaque is that this used to be the former corral area for the Kern County Land Company. So in 1930, the Fox Theater opened and it was the first movie theater in the San Joaquin Valley with air conditioning. And air conditioning was just in its infancy and as everyone knows how hot it is here, that was a big draw. So when you look at the, the history of the Fox Theater, you'll find two conflicting things. One is that you'll see that S. Charles Lee is listed as the architect, but so is Charles Bigger. Well, the Fox Theater was a chain out of Los Angeles, and S. Charles Lee was designing the Fox Theaters for the Fox Theater chain, but he didn't come here to Bakersfield to build them. They hired Charles Bigger, who's designed many buildings in downtown Bakersfield, and a lot of the buildings at Bakersfield High School and at East Bakersfield High School. So when it was first opened in 1930 on Christmas Day, uh, it was a three-story Spanish colonial revival uh, building, and it was like that until 1953 when it changed over to a Mediterranean village interior that was more Art Deco, and that's what we see today. Um, the building is unique because it is a one theater type operation. Um, it was closed in 1977, and when I first moved to Bakersfield, it was closed, but by 1994, the community had saved it, and now it's a multi-use movie theater, center for performing arts, and venue for uh, many community activities. So when you get a chance, and come down in Bakersfield, take a look at the Fox Theater, take a look at some other buildings, and there's a lot of history that we celebrate here in Bakersfield. Hi, my name is Andre Gonzalez, and I'm the newly elected city councilman uh, for the downtown area. I want to welcome and invite you all to visit the Bakersfield Historic Plaques uh, throughout downtown Bakersfield. There are over a dozen plaques here in Bakersfield, Bakersfield's downtown, that really capture uh, the history of some of the most precious gems of our downtown. You know, as we plan for Bakersfield's future and downtown's future, it's important for us to look at the history of those who have come before, those who have invested, and to celebrate that history and in, in our culture. So I'd like for all of you to come Come and explore downtown, visit our restaurants, visit our retail spaces, and come and look and learn more about what we have to offer here at downtown. For more information, you can visit our website, the City of Bakersfield's website, at bakersfieldcity.us. Once again, that's bakersfieldcity.us. Thank you.